Good morning, everyone. Um, I am actually going to be doing silver sneakers this morning. We've only got, I believe, one chair yoga and one other um, silver sneakers class. So I need to get a few more of those out there just to add a little bit of variety for everyone. So this morning, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do um, silver sneakers. So if you're watching or if you're with your, um, if you know your parents or someone else that um, would enjoy this video, please make sure that they tune into my YouTube channel, Carol Sprinkle, and they'll be prompted anytime a new video is uploaded. So let's get started. So what you're gonna need is a chair. Um, I've just got you know, this little um, fold up chair. You can use a chair in your living room. Um, you can use your kitchen chair, uh, whatever you can get your hands on. I have a resistance band or tube um, if you don't have one of these, you can use a towel or a belt, um, something that you think would work sufficiently for that, because <clears throat> we are going to be using everything today, and I'm going to be using the um, equipment um, properly, um, so you guys can just kind of improvise if you need to. I have a small um, bowl, a small ball, and um, it's a little deflated, but like I said, um, sometimes it's a little bit nicer that it gives, um, that we can do some of the exercises a little bit better. Um, and then I also have a set of hand weights. So my hand weights, I think, are only four pounds, um, typical to what we would typically use in our Silver Sneakers class, anywhere between the range of um, two, three, four, and five. Some people even use seven pound weights, so um, that's fantastic. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and start the music. We're going to start with a warm up um, and then we'll uh, enjoy the rest of the workout. All right, so hopefully, you guys can hear this music all right. I'm going to move this chair out of the way. We're going to start marching on that right foot. Here we go. Nice and slow. And you don't have to bring your knees up quite as high as what I'm doing. March out wide. Now bring the heel to the butt. to the hips. And we're going to do a step touch. Take that foot out to the side. Deep breath. Exhale down. Deep breath. Exhale down. We're going to begin looking over the right and left shoulder. Right and left. And I forgot to tell you, if you're wearing a Fitbit, make sure you reach down and start it. Just a couple more. Back to center, shoulder rolls to the back. to the front. All right, back to center. We're going to begin tipping that chin up and to the chest. Look up and down. Up. Down. Two more. Center, open up the chest, squeeze through the shoulder blades. Let's give yourself a big hug for being here this morning. Open it up and switch. One more time, open it up, right arm across, pull it in. And switch. You can snap the 
fingers if you feel it. All right, deep breath. Exhale down, let's bring those feet in to center. You can have your chair handy, hand on top if you need balance. Let's take our right foot forward, lift and lower. Just tapping the toe on the floor, keeping your spine up tall, core in tight. Four, three, two, and one. Switch. Left foot to the front. Here we go. Lift it up. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Right foot back out. We're going to point and flex. Point and flex. Point, flex. Just tapping the toe and the heel. Soft knee. Two more. And pick the foot up. Circle the ankle. You can do all of these exercises in the chair as well. Reverse the, the circle. So you can sit in your chair the whole time we're doing these exercises. And switch. Again, support your back with your core. We're going to point, flex, point, flex. Four, three, two, one. Pick the foot up, circle the ankle. And reverse it. I hope you guys are. FaceTiming with your family and friends or making phone calls and staying in touch. All right, bring it back to center. Let's take a deep breath up. Exhale down. Let's grab a quick drink of water. I'm going to switch this playlist over. And then away. 
Again, my elbow and my bicep is hugged right against my body. And relax the other side. <clears throat> These songs are really slow. down again hug the arm in and we're gonna almost like we're revving up the motorcycle so you're bringing your wrist back towards you and then to the front and let's switch it feels a little awkward I see somebody popped on here hi Kelsey Kelsey says hi everybody we're doing silver sneakers this morning. <clears throat> and relax, roll the shoulders down. Now we're gonna turn our wrists to face each other and we're gonna open and shut the door. Squeeze through your shoulder blades. Again, still keeping the elbows and the biceps right next to the body. Squeeze. And remember, if this gets heavy at any point in time, you can set your weights down. Use your own body resistance. That works just fine. Give me four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Relax. Roll the shoulders. Let's alternate heel taps. So we'll start right and left. Right, left. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this beautiful weather outside, getting out for your walks, even if it is out in the yard. Maybe doing some landscaping around the house, getting all those projects done since we've got all this time on our hands. All right, four more, three. And one march, right foot leads, right foot leads. You can use the weights on top of the legs for resistance if you want. We're gonna change this march to a slight knee lift right here, knee lift, knee lift. So we're engaging the core every time we lift the knee up. Great job, stay with it. Give me four, three, two, one. Change it to a small kick. And let's lift the weights up. We're gonna alternate a little punch to the front, opposite arm, opposite foot. Starting to get warm in here. Four more, four, three, two, and last one, both sides. Great job, let's set these hand weights down. I'm gonna set mine off to the side. Let's take a deep breath. Exhale down, let's grab a quick drink of water. Quick drink of water. Get a different playlist on here. So check your heart rate. Make sure that you're you're doing okay. All right. Okay, we're gonna move the chair out of the way this time. And we're gonna grab our tube. So if you have a tube or a towel or a belt, you wanna grab that now. So we're gonna hold the handles, choke up on that tube just a little bit. Feet are apart. We're gonna bring the arms straight out in front. 
and we're gonna snap that band right across the front of the chest. Squeeze. Great job, four more. Four, three, two, and one. Relax, roll the shoulders. We're gonna bring that band behind our back now. Once again, I'm gonna choke up on my two. And we're gonna do a chest press, so squeeze. Good job, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, bring that tube right back to the front. Once again, choke up on it. Anything that's kind of swinging around, you can double up so it stays tight. We're gonna keep the band right in front of the legs and we're gonna bring it up overhead, squeezing through the shoulder blades and right back down, tapping the thighs. Up and down. Making sure to breathe. Exhale. Four. Three. Two. And one, hold it up. We're gonna slide our arms over. Let's get, take it to the right first. We're gonna do lat pull down. So we're gonna bring the elbow into the waist. Only four more. Four, three, two, and one, nice job. Let's switch sides. Take a breath, here we go. Pull. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Take that band off the hands. Go ahead and set it down. Grab a quick drink of water.
If you don't need the chair, you can pump your arms. Doesn't have to be a really long toe tap to the back. Now, I'm gonna change my arms to an upright row, up. Guys are doing fantastic. How about four more? Four, three, two, and last one, march. Woo. Let's take a deep breath. Exhale down, deep breath. Exhale down, perfect timing. Let's grab another drink. We always want to stay hydrated. All right. So this starts out slow, as you know, and then it's going to pick it up. So I'm going to use my chair for this. And while it's on that slow part, I'm hoping I'm not going to kick my wall. <laughs> so we're going to start swinging that right leg forward and back. Warming up the hip flexors, the leg. You guys love this song. Feel free to sing along. Four, three, two. Last one, great job. Pedal the feet out. All right, I'm gonna switch the chair to the other side. And again, you, if you don't need the chair, perfect. It's gonna challenge your balance a little bit if you don't use the chair, swinging the leg forward and back. So do what feels good to you. Here we go. And again, your leg doesn't have to come up high. You can just swing it, you know, swing it low, whatever your comfort level is. You wanna keep your chest lifted though. Let's do four, three, two, last one. Great job, pedal the feet out again. I'm gonna put my chair right in front. For those of you that might need a chair, you can still see me pretty well, so I'm not concerned about that. My hands are going to go right on top. We're going to do a lateral leg lift, so we're going to bring it up and back down. Up. So you want to keep your leg as long as you can. The foot is flexed, so you're pushing and lifting through the heel. Two more. Great job. We're going to switch sides. Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pedal the feet. Woo! All right, I'm gonna slide this chair out of the way. March. <laughs> if you want, you can pick it up. Take your feet out wide. Great job. You guys look awesome. Back in. One more time. Out wide. Good job, plant the feet, deep breath. Exhale down, deep breath. Exhale down. All right, we're gonna go back to that chair again. Just doing a, a front kick, right toe, right toe. Two more. Great work. Left side. Kick.
four, three, two, one, and back to center. You slide this out of the way again. March right foot. If you want, pick it up. Out wide. Back in. Last time. Take it out. Plant your feet. Deep breath. Make sure you guys are checking your heart rate. Don't let it get too high. Great job. All right, one more time for this chair. We're going to alternate kicks. Right, left. If you don't need the chair, you're right here in front. You can alternate a punch to the front, or if that kick is too much, you can tap your heel or tap your toe, okay? You don't have to do the kick. One more, both sides. And you made it. Deep breath up. Exhale down. You guys are doing fantastic. Make sure you grab your drink of water. And I'm gonna switch this song. Dolly's great, but we need to slow it down just a little bit. This is good. Okay. So we're gonna use our ball. Hi, Julie. We're doing silver sneakers this morning, just so you know. But make sure you show your mom this video so she can be doing it too, okay? All right, so we're gonna use the ball. Start marching on that right foot. Here we go. Right, left. Again, if your heart rate's up still too high, just tap the feet, okay? Make sure you're still taking those deep breaths up. We worked hard. Deep breath to the top. One more. Exhale down. I'm gonna slide my hand leads out of the way just a little bit. All right. We're gonna begin tapping the toes out to the side, right and left. Hold the ball to the center. Here we go. Right and left. Right and left. I'm sliding on this chair because my pants are very slick, so now I'm sitting all the way at the back of the chair. So it's going to be a little hard for me. I'm going to try to stay right on the edge. All right, we're going to add a reach across. So when we have that right foot out, the arm is going to extend. We're going to make a diagonal with our body. Nothing but a good time here, right? All right. Right now, we're going straight across. We're going to change it. Reach, reach, reach. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Back to center. Just tap the heels. Deep breath up. One more. Exhale down. I think I got somebody else on here. Hi, Tina. This is Silver Sneakers this morning, just so you know. All right. We're going to go back to that diagonal tap. Tap right and left. Right and left. I'm going to try to maneuver myself so I stay on the front of my chair and it'll slide all the way to the back. I wish you guys could have seen that from the side. It's quite funny. All right. So this time we're going to alternate a low, middle, and high with our arms, okay? So we're gonna reach down, down across, up, back low, across. Twist through your midsection, use your core, reach, reach, stay strong. And we're there, deep breath. Exhale down, and again, deep breath. Exhale down. We're gonna keep this ball, and we're gonna place it right between the thighs. 
Good song. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. So we're gonna let our heart rates come down a little bit, but we're gonna continue working. So it's kind of an active recovery right here. It's been a while since we've all done this. So we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of leeway. So we're sitting up tall, squeezing the ball. Think about your inner thighs working. And again, like I said, you can you think, be creative. Use a pillow, ball it up if you don't have a little small ball that you can use. All right, let's keep doing this. We're gonna bring our arms up. Now we're gonna alternate the right and left arm to the front, okay, a one arm chest press, and then we'll do both arms together, okay? We'll do two of them together. Here we go, right arm, squeeze, squeeze, now two, squeeze. Right, left, don't forget to squeeze the ball. So every time the arms come in, the ball is squeezed. I am feeling this. Good job, four more, four. Three. Two. Last time. Woo. And relax. Take that ball up. Shake your legs around just a little, little bit. All right, let's work our quads. So we just worked our inner thighs. We're gonna work our quads a little bit. So now we can slide all the way back against the seat. Ball between the knees or just above. We're gonna squeeze the ball. You can have your hands at your hips on the side of the chair. It depends on what kind of chair you're sitting in. I'm gonna keep mine right here at my hips. I'm gonna squeeze the ball tight. Right leg is gonna start. So I'm going to squeeze my leg. Okay, so I'm gonna lift the right leg, pull the toes back towards me, pressing all the way down and through the leg into the heel. And then if you put your hand right on top of your quad, you should be able to feel that muscle work. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap the heel, keeping the toe flexed, and lift, keeping the ball squeezed in the center. So we're never gonna lose that contraction with the inner thighs either. So we're kind of working double time. And core is always in strong. Give me four more. Three, two, hold this up, hold it up. Now we're gonna squeeze that ball to the center. Ready, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Belly button in tight. I'm gonna have to hit my ceiling fan here soon. Woo, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax. All right, this is a good break. So I'm gonna flip that on. All right, so we're gonna go right back to where we were. Ball goes back to center. <clears throat> and we're going to start on the left foot. So I'm gonna kick my foot to the front, my toe is lifted, squeeze the ball, and we're gonna pick up the foot. Pull the toes back towards the nose, tap the heel, down and lift, down and lift. So again, if you left your hand, just rest on your leg, feel what your muscles work. They're working. Four, three, two, this is my song. Last one, hold it up, flex the foot, little squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Four, three, two, one. Woo. Relax. Okay, got one more like this, and you guys all know what this is like if you've done it with me before. So this one's a tough one. So we're gonna place the ball, if you have a ball, between your feet, okay? It's gonna be right in the arches of your shoe. I'm gonna flex my feet, okay? We're just gonna start extending and dropping the heels to start. I'm gonna actually brace myself on the chair and roll my shoulders down the back. I've got the ball squeezed between my feet, but my toes are going to be pointing directly up to the ceiling, okay? And we're gonna use our quads again. So I'm squeezing the ball. We're gonna lift, tap the heels. Lift and tap. Belly button is pulled in really, really tight. Focus on squeezing your quads. <clears throat> Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You're gonna wanna relax. Go ahead and kind of march and shake the legs out. <clears throat> All right, here comes the hard part. So we're gonna go ahead and grip that ball with the arches of our gym shoes again. This time, we're gonna raise the legs up, pull the toes back towards our nose. All we're gonna do is squeeze that ball. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So you wanna keep the pressure on the ball, never completely releasing the ball, letting all the, uh, the pressure off. Think about your core, pull it in tight. Think about the inner thighs. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Woo, relax. Bet you guys don't miss these, do you? <laughs> I think we do, kind of. All right, we're gonna move on. So we're gonna grip the ball with the arches of our shoe again. We're gonna lift the legs, pull the toes back. This time we're gonna round our toes into the center and our heels kick out. Already I'm feeling it in my inner thighs and my quads, they're working, just holding the ball right here. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing, just little squeezes, here we go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh my, my legs are shaking. Four, three, two, and relax. Woo. Okay, <clears throat> one more set. Okay, so we're gonna do what we haven't done yet. We're gonna grip that ball, raise it up. Actually, let me get my feet centered a little better. We're gonna raise the ball up, flex the feet. And last but not least, turn the toes out. Squeeze that ball. Keep the pressure on with your heels. Already, your legs can feel it. You're shaking. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pulse the ball. Here we go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You guys can sing along. I know, I'm not counting. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. That's why we listen to great music, so we can kind of take our mind off of what we're doing, right? Okay, so I'm gonna give you a slight break. We're gonna put all of those moves together now. So, we're going to grip the ball. This is our last time, I promise, promise, promise. Grip the ball. We're gonna lift the legs, flex the toes. So we're gonna squeeze center, toes, and heels, okay? Any point in time you need to relax, rest, put your feet down, do so, okay? So we wanna have our arms down, shoulder rolls down, shoulders rolled down and back, belly pulled in tight. Lift the ball, flex the toes, take a breath. Here we go. Squeeze, toes, heels. Center, toe, heel. Center, toe, heel. Center, I can't really count on this song, it's not fair, I want to sing. Woo. Center, toe, heel, center, toe, one, two more, and last one, oh, relax, march the feet out, oh my goodness. All right, let's come out to the center and the front of our chair. Let's walk our feet out, sit up tall. We're gonna take it hip to hip. So we're sitting up nice and tall. Squeeze, squeeze. So remember, let's all be uh, kind to our friends and family and encourage them to subscribe to uh, the YouTube channel so they can all stay fit and healthy at home as well. Okay, let's go ahead and set this down because we're gonna go right back to cardio. So set this down, grab a drink of water. I'm gonna try to make sure I give myself plenty of space on this. Where are we at? Oh no, I paused it. Whoops. 
Okay, let's march. All right, we're gonna start with a grapevine to the right. I'm gonna try to keep this really narrow because I know my phone isn't gonna pick up too much. So travel right to the right. And if you do not like or shouldn't be doing the grapevine for any particular reason, instead of crossing that foot behind, you can do a step touch, step touch. And you can still do the arms. Okay, and if you're seated in your chair still, you can still be doing this. Just moving the feet. All right, four more. Three. Two. Last time. March. All right, we're gonna do some jacks. Hands to the hips, feet only. Here we go, right, left, right, left. If you're comfortable, let's add the arms. Reach, reach. Four more, four, three, two. Last time, march right foot, march. All right, we're going to do knee ups. Hands are going to come to the chest. We're also going to use our core a little bit. Ready? Right foot leads. Right, left. Right, left. Give me four, three, two, one. Deep breath up. Exhale down. We're going to add all of that together. March. So, we have a grapevine, we have jumping jacks, and we have knees to chest, okay? Remember, you don't have to do the knee lift. You can always tap the heel to the front, or you can just do a march in place, okay? Always options. All right. How are we doing out there? Good? Okay, let's travel right. Here we go. So, we're going to do four each exercise. We've got two more grapevines. Last time. Jack it out. Four. Three. Two. Knee lifts. Right leg leads. Four. Three. Two. And one. Just march in that transition. All right. We're going to take it right back into it again. All three exercises. Travel right. Two more. Last time. We're going to go right into jacks. Right foot leads. Right, left, right. Two more times. High knees. Here we go. Last time, march right foot. Let's do that one more time. All right, get ready. Here we go, travel right. We've got two more. Frank, I hope today you're not standing right in front of the closet. <laughs> All right, jack it out, jack. Last time, knee lifts up. Two more. March right foot. Let's take a deep breath up. Exhale down, again. All right, we're gonna change it up a little bit. <clears throat> I know this is a lot of cardio, so if you need to sit down, that's fine. We're gonna march forward and back. Starting on that right foot, here we go. Take it up. Hey, hey. Two more. Last time, just march right foot. 
out wide, hamstring curls, march, back in, walk it up, two more, last time, march right foot, march it wide, and three curls. And plant the feet. Deep breath. And push it out again. And exhale. Great work. Have a seat in your chair. Grab a drink of water. Okay. Let's see. I want to see how I'm doing on time. I can't tell because my Fitbit somehow got paused. So I don't know how long we've actually been doing this. Um, and actually I could probably keep going for a while. So we'll just do a few more exercises um, and then we'll stretch and cool down. All right, so let's have a seat. I'm gonna grab my hand weights. All right. So we're gonna go ahead, roll the shoulders down and back, alternate a hammer curl right and left, right and left. We're gonna keep it this pace for just a couple. At least we've been blessed with good weather lately. All right, let's switch right in the center. So we're gonna switch right there in the center. Speeding it up just a little bit. All right, keep this pace. We're gonna flip the wrist towards our shoulder this time. Bicep curls. And again, if you need to go slower, you can do that. Give me two more, both sides. Last one. And good work. Relax, roll the shoulders. 90 degrees, deltoid raise, shoulder height. Lift and lower. Tapping the elbows right against your waist. Notice that the wrists are in line with the shoulders. Squeeze. Four. Three. Two. And last one, relax. Roll the shoulders down. We're gonna pull the arms back, do tricep kickbacks. So you're welcome to hinge forward and look down at your toes if you'd like. I'll do that. Here we go, kick it straight back. So the elbows are gonna stay lifted the whole time. So if I'm sitting to the side, my elbow is gonna stay in place, okay? So you just wanna make sure that you're not using the shoulder joint, okay? Keep the arm lifted and just work the tricep muscle. <clears throat> Try to keep the shoulders pulled down away from the ears. Relax the shoulders. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great work. Roll it down and back. All right, we're gonna sit way back on our chair this time. Feet can be wherever is comfortable. We're gonna pull the weights in outside the chest. One arm, press and pull, press. I would love, by the way, for you guys to send me some photos of you working out so that I can post this on the Body Dynamics Fitness and Training Facebook page. Um, the Lusby's, Lusby's already sent me pictures and I loved it. So I appreciate that. Four more. Three. <clears throat> two. Last one. Great work. 
Let's go ahead and set the weights down. Grab a quick drink of water. I'm gonna switch this up. We're gonna go right into core, okay? All right, I'm going to grab a quick drink myself. Okay, so let's lean it all the way back again. <clears throat> Hips are kind of to the front. I'm going to cross my arms, and we're just going to take slow sit-ups all the way up and all the way tapping the shoulders to the back of the chair. Ready, belly in tight, here we go. Take it up and back. Just a little tap, so you're tapping your elbows to your thighs, rounding forward, keeping that C in the midsection. Great job, just tapping the shoulders, keeping the core strong. How about eight more? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, use your breath, two, and one. Sit up straight. Relax the arms, roll the shoulders. We're going to release the arms out to the side. Again, I'm going to try to position myself. Now, you can do this with or without weights. We're going to do it without weights today, but if you want to use weights next time, feel free to do that. Arms are down, shoulders roll down and back, spine is tall. We're going to reach towards the floor, alternate right and left. So notice that the majority of my body stays in the center. I'm just dropping the shoulder right and left, okay? So you don't want to lean the whole body and using through your hips, okay? We just want to use enough to where we feel it right in our obliques, right through the side of the body. Now, you're pressing firmly into the floor with your heels, and you want to sink and sit up tall. You want a level change right there. Sweet. Now, if you're warmed up, which we all should be by now, and you want a little bit more, you can begin to reach the opposite hand up the side of the body. Now, Julie, Tina, Kelsey, if you guys are at work, sitting in your desk chair, feel free to join us on this one, just to get a good stretch, stretch. And then if you want a little bit more, you can reach all the way up, squeeze. So here is the most work we'll get. You want to reach the fingers towards the ceiling and towards the floor. So you want to make your arms as long as you can. Again, this is an option. You don't have to do this part. Four more. Three more. Two. Last one. Let's bring it back to center. Woo. Got a little bit of cardio with that too. All right, bring your fists together. So the pinkies are kissing each other. The elbows are squeezed in. Or as if you're holding something and you don't want somebody to get take it away from you. So you want to kind of round your shoulders forward again, kind of getting that C, C scoop in the midsection. So you're kind of pulling everything in tight. We're going to twist side to side. And I'm going to get a little lower. So the elbow is going to be tapping right at your side. Okay, almost to the back. Round the shoulders forward. Squeeze, squeeze. Now you can stay just like this, or if you want to make it more fun, take it down and up. Down, two, three, four. You don't have to do this. going to the end and we made it walk the feet in deep breath up exhale down and again and exhale down you guys did such a great job I'm gonna switch this music over to the cool down music 
Um, we're gonna stretch and we're gonna do it as we typically would in silver sneakers. So I'm gonna um, turn my light off. You're still gonna be able to see me, but I'm gonna put our meditation music on and just kind of do that last uh, 15 minutes of, of stretch and yoga. So grab your drink of water. started this morning that's great you can sit back relax close your eyes hands right on top of the legs sitting tall rolling the shoulders down and back taking deep breaths through the nose and out through the mouth just giving yourself a little bit of praise for tuning in doing your exercise for this morning and be sure to encourage your friends and your family to be doing the same whether they're doing it with me or uh, with someone else or by themselves um, just always encourage to have a little bit of fitness each and every day whether it's 10 or 15 minutes of walking <clears throat> Let's relax the arms off the side, and we're going to begin with wrist rolls. And rotate in the other direction. And relax. So I'm going to sit up just a little bit taller. And I'm going to take a deep breath, flex through the wrists. And exhale, tuck the fingertips under. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale, release. Great job. Relax, shoulder rolls to the back. Shoulder rolls to the front this time. And relax. We're going to bring our hands out to mountain pose, sitting up with a tall spine. And we're going to look to the right. go behind you depends on what kind of chair you're sitting on so you might have to make adjustments but I'm just going to kind of hug the back seat of my chair and I'm going to look over my shoulder and then I'm going to switch sides and 
going to come back to center. Let's take a deep breath up. And we're going to exhale forward fold. You can stop on top of your legs or go all the way to the floor. Try to relax your shoulders and your head and your neck. So shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Take a deep breath up, exhale, press the arms down, resisting the air, palms open, deep breath, exhale, release, and deep breath, lift, exhale, release. All right, we're going to walk our feet out a little wider. From here, we're going to open the left palm, take a deep breath, lift up, exhale, lean to the right. So you're really reaching up through the side of the body, through the arm, into, into the fingertips. And I'm going to open my chest, pulling the elbow back, looking up at the ceiling or at my elbow. And then I'm going to push the elbow forward, looking down at the floor, rounding through my back. Deep breath back to center. Exhale, switch sides, deep breath up, exhale, reach. Once again, I'm going to pull my arm back, looking up at the ceiling or my elbow. And this is an option. And then we're going to round forward, pressing the elbow to the front, looking down at the floor or at our foot. Breath lift, exhale back to center. From here, we're going to come down to our knees with the elbows resting. And if you'd like, you can hang out right here or gently with your elbows, begin to push the knees towards the back. And then see if you can drop your chest just a little bit lower. elbows or if this is too low for you remember you can always come back up to your hands so we're going to stretch our spine again so we're going to take a deep breath as you exhale drop your right shoulder look up over the left inhale center exhale switch one more time inhale center exhale Inhale, center, exhale, switch. Come on back to center, hang out here. And if you want a deeper stretch, we're gonna go ahead and walk our hands down to the floor, or if you have a book or something that you can rest in front of you that you can put your hands on that is stacked so you don't have to go quite as low, or like I said, you can stay right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and drop all the way to the floor, palms are down, and I'm just going to fold forward. Great job. Slowly walk it right back to the top. Walking yourself all the way back to center. Feet coming in to place. I'm going to slide to the front of my chair. Deep breath up. And exhale, release. If you need another drink, feel free to grab a drink. We're going to continue stretching. Hands are going to be right on top of the thighs or right at the kneecaps. We're going to go into our cat cow. So we're going to take a deep breath, drop the chest and belly. Elbows are tucked in and we're going to lift the chin, pull the shoulders down away from the ears. And then exhale, release the air. Inhale forward. Exhale, release. Inhale forward. Great job. Exhale, release. And last time, inhale forward. And exhale, release. 
roll it back up to the top. Let's take our arms out to center. Okay, we can just relax our fingertips and we're gonna take our right arm and begin to take it back and we're gonna follow our thumb with our eyes, okay? So we're gonna reach, 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 sitting up tall, all the way as far as you're comfortably able to reach. Slowly bring it back to center and follow your thumb with your eyes. We're gonna go all the way back, sitting with a tall spine, rotating through our torso. Arm is long. And bring it back to center. We're gonna lift the arms up, bring them right behind the head or the nape of the neck. And we're gonna inhale, open the elbows, looking up. And then we're going to exhale, round the shoulders, tap the elbows if you can, inhale, open, exhale, release, inhale, open, exhale, release, last time, inhale, open, and exhale, release, go ahead and come right back out to center. We're gonna lift the arms up, drop the right hand behind, grab the elbow, pull it in close. Trying to keep the chin up off the chest. If this is too deep of a stretch for you, I'm gonna show you, you can take the arm out front, support your tricep, just bring it up to the shoulder and then lift the elbow. Okay, so it depends on your flexibility, your range of motion. Maybe You've got a little arthritis, so it just depends on your body and what it's going to allow you to do. Great job. Deep breath. Lift the arms. Exhale. Bring the hands to the small of the back and just relax the shoulders. Pull the shoulders as far away from the ears as you can, sitting up with a really tall spine. Now, if your fingers are kind of rounded, go ahead and make your, your fingers nice and straight, just stacking your hands right at the small of your back. I'm gonna invite you to pull the elbows back, lifting the chest and lifting the chin. Keeping the shoulders pulled down. This is a really good stretch. I feel it in my shoulders and my rotator cuff. And then just relax. So if you sit at a desk, or if you used to sit at a desk like me, all the time, my shoulders just kind of need that stretch. Pull the elbows back, looking up. And relax. Great job. All right, roll the shoulders down and back. We're gonna slide off to the right side of the chair and stretch our hip flexor. So I'm gonna slide off to the right. I'm gonna drop my right knee towards the floor and I'm gonna hold the side of the chair. Okay, my toe is tucked. I'm gonna do a hip flexor stretch by driving my hips forward while pulling my knee towards the floor. And relax. Go ahead and pelvic tilt. And relax. Option, you can just bring the foot back out 90 degrees. I'm gonna take my leg out long, okay? From here, I'm going to open my right palm and lean to the left. I'm going to switch sides, so I'm going to take a deep breath up. And then I'm going to exhale, lean to the right. And right back to center. Go ahead and slide the leg in. We're going to come back over, sliding to the left side. So I'm going to move my chair over just a bit. Dropping my left knee down, holding the side of the chair. Toe is tucked. Sitting up tall, I'm going to tip my hips forward. Great quad and hip flexor stretch. And relax. And again. And relax. I'm going to take my leg out long, but once again, you can keep your, your knees bent just like this. And I'm going to open my right palm, take a deep breath, lift. 
Exhale, lean to the left. And switch, inhale, center. Exhale, leaning away. And come on back to center. Sliding the foot in. All right, we're gonna take our right foot out long. Sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna take a deep breath, lift the arms up. Exhale, only halfway. So reach from the hip, from the hip, all the way through the spine, through the fingertips up here, okay? You can look down, keep your spine and your neck in a straight line. So your ears are next to your biceps. You're kind of pushing your tailbone behind you, flexing through the toe. We're gonna take a deep breath, sit up tall. And then we're gonna exhale forward fold all the way down, relaxing the spine. Slowly rolling back to the top. Walk your foot into place, take the left foot out, flexing through the toes. We're gonna take a deep breath, lift up, Exhale, only halfway, really reaching forward from the hips, looking down. Core is pulling tight. Take a deep breath, sit up. And then exhale, forward fold all the way down. side of our chair and walk our feet out a little bit and we're just going to begin rotating the right knee in and out just kind of swiveling our foot bring it back to center and then same with the left leg just kind of twisting that foot side to side knee coming in and out Back to center and if you'd like you can add both of them together just kind of windshield wipering your knees side to side sounds like I'm making a fire in my seat all right back to center go ahead and bring your feet back in Let's take a deep breath exhale release release. You can take your right foot and cross at the ankle or you can bring it up on top of the right leg. We're going to sit up nice and tall. We're going to take our hands right to the back of our seat, right behind our hips. And then we're going to take a deep breath. Exhale, lift up higher. Try to straighten through the arms, lifting up through your tailbone and try to pull your knee down just a little closer to the floor if you can. Relax, let's shake the legs side to side. Bring it back to center. We're gonna cross at the wrist, take a deep breath. Exhale, reach, reach, reach with a tall spine. So we're not rounding through the back. We're staying up tall, okay? A little bit sometimes goes a long way. Slide that leg across. We're gonna open the arms. Take a deep breath, pull the arms behind you. As you exhale, right arm comes over the left, holding at the hands. We're just gonna lift the elbows up. And then push the shoulders forward. Really feel that separation between the shoulder blades. Breath, lift up, exhale, uncross, 
we're going to take the left foot over the right knee. Hands are going to come behind the hips. You're going to sit up tall and take a deep breath. As we exhale, try to pull the knee down a little closer to the floor. And relax. Go ahead and shake the legs side to side. Coming back to center, crossing at the wrist again. Rolling the shoulders down the back. Tipping forward at the hips. Keeping the chest open. And come on back to center. And then, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead and cross the leg over top. Almost forgot. Crossing the leg. Open the arms out. Take a deep breath. Pull them back. Exhale, left arm in front. Go ahead and lift up through the spine, lifting the elbows, pushing the arms forward, bringing the forearms away from the face. Take a deep breath, lift the arms up. Exhale, uncross. Deep breath, palms together. Exhale, down to heart center. Deep breath up. Exhale, heart center. And one more deep breath. Exhale to heart center. Go ahead and slide back into your chair. We're going to take just a minute or so just to do some self meditating. So you can sit here with your eyes closed if you'd like. You can go ahead and rotate your head all the way around. changing directions. And then bringing it back to center. Just relaxing the arms and shoulders. and inviting your friends um, that's great we all need this for our mental and physical well-being um, so just continue reaching out to each other um, and I just wanted to say that I miss all of you so I'm looking forward to uh, the day that we can all get back together in the gym and actually see each other's faces and give each other hugs that would be amazing so um, after we end all of our um, normal exercise classes, we always say our vowels five times through because we've exercised our minds with the coordination. We have exercised our bodies, just physically doing everything. So we also want to do facial exercises. Um, so we're going to say our vowels and we're going to open our mouths as big as we can. So here we go. A, E, I, O, U. 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 Great job this morning, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and stay healthy.